Today on BRS TV, we're featuring the Vertex line of calcium reactors. They make three models, including the RX4, which is a 4 inch tube, and the RX6, which features a 6 inch tube. There's also an RX6 Duo, which has an additional media chamber. This is the RX6, and we feel this is going to be one of the best options available in its price class. It includes all the popular features most reefers are looking for, as well as some unexpected extras. One of the more unique features that Vertex chose to include is the carbon dioxide dissolution chamber. This chamber provides a maximum amount of contact time and surface area between the gas and the water before it reaches the pump as well as the calcium reactor media. It does this not only with fresh CO2 but also recycles the unused gas back into the chamber. We feel that this gives it a solid advantage over most reactors on the market. Vertex not only put a lot of thought into building a well-built, attractive reactor, but also one that's really easy to use. You can see that they have John Guess fittings for all of the tubing, which makes the tubing very easy to remove. And instead of using thumb screws for the top, they've threaded it, which makes the cap also easy to remove. And virtually every piece has a union, which means you can completely disassemble the unit for easy maintenance and cleaning. All of Vertex reactors include an oversized bubble counter as well as an additional media chamber, both of which are easily removed. The media chamber also includes an easy to use screw off cap. People typically use these for additional calcium carbonate media which helps you raise the pH of the effluent coming out of the reactor. The RX6 Duo actually has two additional chambers. The last few features I'd like to point out are the included pH probe port as well as the needle valve on the effluent which helps you fine tune the flow rate going through your reactor and the sound dampening rubber pad that sits underneath the pump to help keep noise down. One last note, the instructions say that you can use the secondary media chamber for phosphate media. However, we find that this typically creates more problems than it really solves and be better off running phosphate media in a typical upflow reactor. It's going to be a much better solution for the aquarium as a whole. You'd be better off utilizing this for calcium carbonate media to raise the pH of the effluent, or some people would even use uh, zeomag or dolomite for magnesium addition. If you are interested in being notified when we make new additions to BRS TV, you can sign up for our newsletter found on almost every product page. You can also log into your account and hit the Newsletter Subscriptions tab.